Hello my beautiful owls and welcome to this new channel. Today we are making a 1920s robe de steel dress. The robe de steel was a more feminine formal style of evening dress with a close fitted top and longer fuller skirt. Since skirts tended to be voluminous, they were often supported by hoop skirts, panniers, and side petticoats. French designer Jeanne Levine is often credited with the style but she did not invent it. She did update the style with elements from 17th and 18th century Western formal gowns. Women often accessorized with a pair of elbow length gloves, a fan, and a tiny purse. And now let's start base stitching. After carefully base stitching the skirt and the bodice, I have gone ahead and pinned it on Tsurunami to see how the rope of steel dress will lay upon her. And yes, the dress is way too long for 1920s, but it will be dealt with at a later time. And without further ado, let's get sewing.
as you can see, I have now finished off these seams on both the top part of the rope of steel as well as the skirt. And now it is time to make the blind hem or the invisible hemming on to the skirt part. But first I'll have to finish off the seams on both the top and the bottom. Here we are with the blind hem on the row of the steel. And yes, this top part will be pleated into the skirt to make it look more fuller and more feminine as the row of the steel dictates. Okay, so now that I've secured the edge trim seams of the armholes, I am now going to connect them to the main front of the dress and 
Once that's secure and attached in, the straps we fasten together to shape the armhole, and this, this longer fastened edge, will be around the neckline and the front to make it more structured. As you can see, the main part of the rope still hasn't finished, and I've made it into a two-part dress mainly because there was a bit of like fitting issue on the sleeves, and it would have just become really misshapen if it was attached to the main skirt part. So they are attached separately with these little metal snaps. And right over here is the main cloth that's going to be used for the petticoat, the fluffy petticoat that goes under the skirt to give it a lot more volume. And it is made of this tulle, kind of like a tulle tissue type fabric that I thrifted while I was in San Francisco back in May. I decided to fold it over to give it more depth and volume, and also because the original fabric was way too long for a dress on this tiny waisted hourglass type doll. And we will begin by first securing the fabric here with the zigzag type, and then sewing two straight lines over here to help give it that sort of like that weightage that would need to be pulled through. I'll show you later what I mean.
as you can see, the rope steel dress that Runami is modeling for us is now much more voluminous with the added petticoat right underneath, this fluffy puffy petticoat that's added a more bell-like shape to the rope de steel. I wanted to just show everyone a glimpse of the fabric scraps that I'll be using for next week's video. And this is salvaged material from the winter coat that I had created for myself back in July. And I'll see you next week with the video.